This is Artifacts of Mars. And I wanted to discuss evolution, specifically the evolution of flight. Uh, we're being expected to believe that birds and other critters evolved. And they evolved to fly, basically. I'm going to look at this analytically and critically because, as far as I'm concerned, it's BS. It is very sotoral. Now, it's about as fake as the uh, imbecile sitting in the White House right now. First of all, what is flight? Well, flight is where something moves through a fluid. Air is a fluid. Water is a fluid. Swimming is a specialized type of flight. We'll get to that. But have you ever noticed a swallow? Uh, swallow flies and these short swept back wings they make turns and twists and stuff in the air that would kill a human if we could do them which we can't a swallow flies in a different way than an eagle flies the eagle takes advantage of thermals and all that right So, swallows take advantage of thermal, uh, eagles take care advantage of thermals, swallows fly like a jet flyer does very short turns, except they're much better at it than we are. We learned it from them. Uh, a grouse is a type of bird that has these short stubby wings that are great for quick takeoffs, and they sound like, a bit like 747 taking off. And it goes on and on. Then we get to the insects. A bumblebee. The science used to say that theoretically bumblebees couldn't fly, but obviously they do. And their flight characteristics are different from a moth, which is different from I don't know, uh, grasshopper. The point here is that these are all different skill sets. I said skill sets. Flight's a very complicated thing. And the same thing with humans, except the critters outfly us all the time. Like I said, birds do things that would kill a human easily. And we, of course, rely on our gadgets for flight. So, where do we learn it from? We learn it from the critters. And their abilities are superior to ours, in most cases. So, are you going to tell me that a critter, a bird for instance, which has, which can fly naturally much better than we can fly with our little toys, are you going to tell me but they just learn this by accident. I mean, it is a skill set whether you're talking about the hawk, uh, grouse, or swallow, different types of birds. It's all different skill sets. Are you going to tell me they learned all this by accident? I'm not buying this. I'm very sorry. If that disturbs people, they would have all had to evolve these flight characteristics um, on their own. They would have just had to accidentally learn all these flight characteristics on their own. Does anybody but me uh, think that this is essentially BS, as in very sotorial, very sotorial, but it gets worse. Well, I mentioned insects, 
Insects have all sorts of different flight characteristics. Are you going to tell me that they're smarter than us? And as many of them can not fly us. You ever seen these little insects swirling around in a cloud? We couldn't do that if we wanted to. And our bodies couldn't take the stress. We already know that. Yeah, you know, these bugs don't know any different. They're doing what they're doing. They're talking gnats, mosquitoes. The well, point here is that they all have skill sets and abilities which far exceed ours. And we're being told that they just evolved this by accident. I'm not buying it. This gets worse yet. There is, of course, one type of mammal which can fly. That is, naturally, the bat. And different types of bats. There's fruit bats, vampire bats, insect-eating bats. And they all have different skill sets as well. And a vampire bat probably would not be able to do the turns, quick turns and stuff, the insect-eating bat that helps clean the air these bugs can do. So, the point here is, we're not talking one skill set here, we're talking dozens, or not dozens, we're talking hundreds or thousands of different skill sets, all of which supposedly just evolved by accident. Anybody uh, here besides me think that, that is BS? But it still gets worse. Consider the Emperor Penguin. If you've ever seen March of the Penguins, it's a beautiful film. It's about the Emperor Penguins and their life cycle. It's rather a brutal life cycle, but it works for them. Uh, but if, if you ever get... You can, you know, find the footage of they're going underneath water. See, the Emperor Penguin is a very adroit flyer. They're very good at it. Oh! Oh! <laughs> He's gone off the edge. They don't fly. Oh, what are you talking about? You're crazy. <laughs> uh, no, calm down, liberals. Uh, actually, they do fly, but not through the air. They fly through the water, essentially. Water is a fluid, of course, and these birds have learned how to fly through the water. It's just another type of flying, as is to an extent a uh, fish swimming through the water. We must not forget so-called flying fish. Somehow they learn the skill set of jumping out of the water to avoid predators, and they spread the uh, you know, I think they're the pectorals, if I'm not mistaken, the pectoral fins. And they skim over the surface of the water. It's mostly to avoid predators, from what I understand. That's yet another skill set. They don't actually fly, per se, the way a bird does, but it's getting technical. Then you have flying squirrels and snakes. Need I go on? I mean, all these varmints have somehow learned how to fly. And they do it much better than we do, even though they can't fly outside the atmosphere like we can. But as far as flying through the atmosphere, generally speaking, we're no match for them, even with all our expensive and powerful toys. So, I put it to you that this is BS, Barry Sotoro, that all these critters could have possibly just 
accidentally learned how to do this. These are skill sets and they had to be taught. I mean, we had to learn from the birds how to fly. We, had, we learned from them, and their abilities are still technically superior to ours. I mean, our toys are all fancy and we fly around the globe and all that. When you come right down to it, uh, it takes years to train a fighter pilot or a commercial jet liner pilot. It takes weeks for a sparrow to learn how to fly. Weeks. And it takes us years. So, obviously somebody has taught these critters. That's the way I see it. Now, I'm an agnostic. I've told you that before. But I don't buy into this stuff, folks, that they just learned this by accident. Somebody had to teach them. There is a god of some kind. I'm an agnostic. I'm really not sure what the Dickens to believe. I've seen some very bad behavior among Christians, and uh, that's kind of thrown me off the uh, Christian religion. Plus, they're too far too rigid in their thinking. They expect you to accept all the dogma. Despite what the Bible says about aliens and other critters in the Bible, and that's what turns me off about it. And that's another discussion. Well, there you go. These are skill sets that have been learned by people. And birds, and we learned it from birds. They've been, it applies to millions and millions of insects and bats and even some critters that don't actually fly. Well, they don't have powered flight, but they glide like they like said the flying fish. And there's just too many of these critters that have learned all these behaviors, supposedly by accident. It's obvious to me that they were taught by a higher power. And you want to dispute me, you're right ahead. But remember, we're talking about probably thousands of different skill sets altogether. Like I said, the way a grouse takes off is different from the way a sparrow takes off. And raptors are usually right in the thermals, whereas. The type of bird a swallow is, you make these short, quick turns, and you have fish hawks, you have osprey, I think they're the ones that dive at 300 miles an hour or something into the water. That would kill a human instantly. They do it as a matter of course. So, this whole evolution thing, <laughs> to make a pun, is for the birds without some kind of higher power. And I tend to think there is a higher power on the planet which continuously puts new species and molds this planet. I don't believe in six day creation because it doesn't make any sense. Obviously this earth is very old. But, um, there's no way these birds could have just evolved these skill sets on their own. I'm sorry. It makes no sense whatsoever. Care to dispute me? Go ahead and leave a message on this video. But, there's no way. I may even start up a playlist about evolution because there's a lot of things like this that just don't add up. 
A lot of them are chicken and uh, egg th type things. Then you have the bizarre case of the platypus. That's one I'll mention just briefly. The, th the thing seems to be a mixture of different critters. Birds, mammals, ducks, chicken. It lays eggs, but it's technically a mammal. And it stings like a scorpion. It's got stingers on its hind legs. The males do. Those animals are bizarre. How the hell did they evolve? I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching. I'm going to do another playlist and explore some of these uh, things that just don't add up.